Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Ekamek. This is Let's Play Spyro 3 Reignited. In the last episode, we tidied up the last of the previous world events. From now on, everything is in Midnight Mountain that we need to complete. And technically, we could do the Sorceress World if we wanted to. I just don't want to because I'd rather go in with almost everything finished. Unfortunately, this isn't Crush Bandicoot where they force you to confront the boss the minute he, everything becomes available. They're a lot nicer than that. Actually, Croc 2 also did that, which is kind of unfortunate. But I did like Croc 2. But, before we get on with that, we actually do have quite a bit of gem tidying up to do here. I'd like to get to a proper round number with my gems, not to mention there's a whole bunch of secrets here and there to collect. Hmm. Nothing here. But there is something here. Ooh dear, that poor lizard. Billy. Which is the nickname I always give to my Flipper whenever I play Pokemon. But I just remember that. <laughs> yeah. It's called. Shh. It's a secret. Every. <laughs> oh dear, that's an embarrassing way to start the episode, isn't it? Hopefully, not an omen. Sparrow cannot fly like a polypa. So yeah, I did actually go back and... So there's this thing about Evening Lake. It actually has a soundtrack I never heard in the original game. It's weird, but I feel like... Mm. Yeah, I know about this, though you don't need to remind me. Get the gem! Sparks, stop slacking. It just the, it never... I feel like in Evening Lake in the original, for at least the power regions, it had a soundtrack that... It had a soundtrack that played elsewhere. Oh, there we go. There's a reason to be 100% ready before you move on. And I'm just losing my train of thought, aren't I? The evening like the music that played, it just... I knew that the music existed. It was in my soundtrack compilation for that game. The thing that I am saying is that it wasn't, it didn't actually play in the Power Region version of the original, so it, it was a thing that's been bothering me and now that I've finally sat down and listened to it for a good deal of time before moving on to this world in the pre credit stuff, or the, in my episode preparations, it's just something that I really wanted to bring up while I remember. It would be, it's my last chance to do so after all. I should pick a fight with something higher in the food chain there, mate. And this should be somewhere to smash. Already, like a dragonfly. So we need a few more gems. I guess this room is weird like that. Yeah, that's the way I came in the last time. Put a gem here. Basket 
ね。とうとう。マーベルスゴールドエンドバスケットでトップだカーソルは何か言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと Maybe put a too much, bit too much effort into the detailing for this, I guess. And... Bingo! 400 of 400. Level complete. So then it's time to start off with... I think it's the Crystal Islands? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't actually look before I went in. Kind of embarrassing, really. Okay, I actually do remember th that back in the day, um, it wasn't me, it was my mum who had actually, who actually learned from me how I fought the dogs in Toasty's world to fight in this, actually I remember this place being very glitchy, so maybe the Reignited Trilogy fixed that. Spyro, don't tell anyone, but we were stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we are practice using it. Unfortunately, we've had the beat of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. Yeah, no kidding. Now, what do you. <laughs> right, they explode if you flame them. Oh, it's one of those octopi again. Yeah, I need to yeah. options sound original track. Okay, I can tell you for a fact that this soundtrack is a liar. Because the original version I played of this was actually, um... It was Seashell Shaw's music. Maybe that's just our region thing. Yeah, these crystal bears, my mum would actually jump up and flame them. Gem. Actually, <laughs> now that I stop to look at it, man, <laughs> these trees are trippy. They're not just square trees, they're square interdimensional trees. I guess he doesn't have anything he wants to say until the other one's down as well. <laughs> Having mild issues controlling this underwater dragon. Okay, back to the original soundtrack. Or rather the Reignite version. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully! As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve and nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! Oh man, imagine how much you'd be able to imagine how much those crystals would be worth. Uh, I'll, 
I gotta be fair, these controls feel slightly... The enemies feel slightly off compared with what my memory says to me. They were like... Also, the voices are definitely different. You wanna see the trick again? Well, alright. But I want you to know this isn't as easy as it looks. Alakazam! Did anyone catch where it did actually- because I jumped on that first crystal early, it actually spun Spyro to face the other way? Also, you guys aren't nearly as dangerous as this sort of stuff we have to deal with in the- All this magic is just misdirection, you know? Which is why I'm going to start that whirlwind over there! Abracadabra! No, you could have waited until I actually wanted the whirlwind to do that. Got gems to collect, you know. These. I don't know what sort of accents you call the things that the the um, prestidigitators normally use or at least the stereotypical ones do, but I don't know. Is it a good change or not? Definitely different. Okay, I'll show you again. If you watch carefully, maybe you'll be able to see how it's done. Abracadabra! Yeah, <laughs> these enemies aren't nearly as difficult as some of the ones I've had to deal with in World 3, if we're honest. Also, here's someone we can make fun of. Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I'll need a small donation first. For my expenses, you understand. I'm happy over here. You shouldn't anger a magician, Spyro. I just might decide to turn you into a blue hedgehog or something. <laughs> oh boy, references you probably can't afford to do, but a thousand gems is very steep. <laughs> also, look at the... Not again! Okay, fine. Very good. Ha, let's see. Hocus Pocus, Ziggledy Zen, make this bridge get long again! You scam artist. What do you I'm have to say? I'm afraid the show's over, Spyro. Why don't you go play with the gnomes? I think they look lonely. That's what I think of you. And cook him. Don't talk to the gnome yet. I do have to wonder what that trophy was for, though. I'll find out later. Yeah, we've got to earn our money back after giving it all to money bags over there. I suppose I could show you my new trick. As long as you promise not to tell the great Zamboni, he steals all my best work. Alakazam! Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, see? Spyro spins if he lands on it early. Here, you can have this. I was going to use it in a trick. 
but uh, my magic, it just keeps bouncing off. Well, dragon eggs are magic, you know. Or are the dragons are magic just by being dragons? Um. Okay, Terry Pratchett. Has anyone read Terry Pratchett? I'm gonna assume you haven't, but. There's a specific book, Guards, where um, there's two types of dragons. There's the ancient super magic dragons that can only be summoned by bringing them in from another dimension. Did you tell the great Zamboni? That charlatan has been stealing my tricks again! Yeah. I didn't tell him, but he already knew it, I'm afraid. I think uh, if you go back and talk to the Zam great Zamboni, he'll actually say, it's easier for me just to leave all these crystals up. Yeah, just take them. And now, this egg. We have 46 lives. Who knows how many lives we're going to have by the end of it, though, because... We do not have much control on this thing. Can't jump. Can't slow down. Can only steer. And pray that we don't Mario Kart ourselves, because... <laughs> it is very reminiscent of Rainbow Road, isn't it? <laughs> to be fair, I was kind of clenching my teeth just a slight that whole time. This isn't even the hardest one. Eloise! Now that is a sneeze. Yet somehow we come out on the higher end of this, where we started. Huh. Not sure where the key is, but I guess we'll find out later. For now, we have this. Welcome, most esteemed dragon. Bentley. Good evening, Spyro. The amazing Rendini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. Hmm, this minigame. Oh yes, we have to push this block aside. It's a very important ability that's only been used twice, maybe, if we're lucky. I am afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited them all. All they need is a good bonker on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the yeti to help. Okay, let's bash some moles. Tap on the head should sort them out, but be careful. My friends are trying to burrow after them. Yeah, gotta be careful not to hit the gnomes. It's a lot easier to. D There's also a time limit. Fantastic. And the camera is completely too zoomed in. Could you just tell your friends to go away? Well, that did not do it. See, they've got themselves all worked up into a tizzy. You'll have to try again. <laughs> a light to tap on the. I feel like the camera needs to be a lot better positioned than this. Also, this I think is the last Bentley mini game. Ugh. Well, that did not do it. I like the and. He still hasn't actually used his square ability for anything other than those stupid seals. Makes me wonder why they gave them 
gave him that ability when he really doesn't have any use for it. friends dug this up whilst chasing the moles. I can't believe I did that. That was tense. Huh? 123. We are getting there. Actually, wait, how many... how much of a percent is 120? I'm figuring this out. Going by eggs alone, that's actually 82% of the game. Not bad. No thank you, Bentley, I never want to play that again. Oh, wait. Do have to catch this slight jerk. We, yeah, if you were wondering why the boost stars were all over the place, this is why. Close, but no banana. another one? No, we just have to fly to the hidden egg. Well, I don't know where there's a hidden egg, but now I do. Grace. And now it's just a matter of finding where the Chain reaction. Ah, there's the key. Disappointing chain reaction, mate. Eh? Uh, just wondering if he's. Yeah, he's here. I finally seem to have gotten the hang of this. Those crystals have stayed up for ages! Alright. <sighs> I guess magic doesn't really count for as much when you've got... Uh... I guess you can't really patent magic when you can just turn any lawyer who tries to cash in on it into a frog or something stupid like that. Actually, how many crystals? Actually, that's actually a bit more than you'd expect, isn't it? Up, 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 up. So yeah, I remember that you could tap the X button while super flying in the original games and you'd get a lot of height. You don't get as much height as in the originals in this. That wasn't quite the amount of gems I'd have liked, so Sparks looks like you've got some work to do. That way. Oh, 
invisible walls, why? Did I really miss gems here? I really miss gems here. And now, just because I can, buzzing back through this. Okay, maybe you're the one who says, I'll just leave it up all the time. I'm working on a new trick now, but I've left the whirlwind going in case you need to use it. Very nice of you, mate. Okay, Sparks, let's dance. I do like it when they have shortcuts to the start of the level, shortcuts at the start of the level back to the end of it. And I did actually find out that no, they did do the um, Lost Fleet shortcut properly. I just would. It's not the hole in the side of the ship, technically. What it is, is they open up a whirlwind that lets you get to higher ground, that then lets you get into the side of the ship, so that was me being slightly... uninformed. Up, you see. Alright, we'll go up. <laughs> oh dear. Oh! Well, I'm mildly blind, aren't I? It is very satisfying to be able to smash those just on your own, but... I think I preferred having actual reach of Spyro's attacks. If that one bamboo terrace level is any indication. That felt like a short episode, but the recording time doesn't lie. Either way, next time on Let's Play Spyro 3 Reignite the Trilogy, we've got other worlds in Midnight Mountain to tackle. Until then guys, Take care, I'll see you all around.